Hey guys, what's up, what's up, what's up? Uh, it's been a while. I know I'm a little, I'm a little bit, little bit late with this uh, monthly update. But, um, yeah, let's just get right into it. Okay, so I finished paying for my last class of my graduate career. <laughs> it did cost me an arm and a leg because of the price. And plus the Korean taxes kicked in on my last check. So I'm literally, literally, ooh, I'm getting old. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. I'm aging. I'm aging. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so I'm literally living on a prayer. Living on a prayer. On a, I don't know the words. Don't ask me. I make up lyrics as I go, if you know me by now. So... I'm literally living on a prayer, pray, paid for school, and Korean taxes kicked in on my last check, so I'm like, oh great, lovely, so I got to, I have to play the change your lifestyle for a month game, so I have to ride in a shuttle every morning for a while now. I actually couldn't wake up on time this morning because of something else that I'll bring up a little bit later in this same video. Um, so yeah, that's taken care of. Next thing I want to bring up, uh, I'm looking for a uni job. Uh, it doesn't matter where at this point. I just want the two years experience. So it can honestly be in the middle of nowhere and I would be cool with that. It can be in the middle of nowhere. I will be cool with that. And you know, that's great. Uh, I just want the two years experience and get the feel of working at a university. Because I'm getting, getting my master's and I want to keep growing, you know, uh, intellectually, spiritually, emotionally. <laughs> if that's even a thing, physically, sure, which however can I grow, I'll take it. <laughs> uh, I'm starting to see, like, my comparison, I'm, a, I'm starting to really compare myself between me and the people that I meet. But even though I'm aware that we're under different circumstances, it's like I feel as though they're putting in more work than I am, even though I've had various opportunities, but they've had their own because of different cultures and, you know, lifestyles. So not really much I can do about that. So right now I'm playing the, hey, let's catch up game. And I'm kind of losing. Or I feel like I'm losing, but I could be winning. It all depends on what you're looking at, you know? <sighs> um, let's see. Korea... Uh, wow, I need to bring that up later too. No matter of fact, let me just start bringing this up now. Um, as of yesterday, um, I had to break up with seeing the people that I was meeting for, for Bible study. Um, I was able to, able to dig into some more information about them because what they were talking about just kept bringing up red flags. And, and it, what, it wasn't clicking with me and it's just really suspicious. They were really, really, really secretive. And it's like, I don't really operate that way. So, I um, was able to find out that they're heretics. Or pretty much they're spreading heresy. And more specifically, in Korea, um, I'll, my next legit video will be me talking about this specific group in, in my experience. And maybe some more detail. Um, so, I had to break off of them. I tried to talk to this particular woman yesterday, um, but uh, she's uh, she's like a mega extrovert. Na, 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 na. I couldn't get a chance to tell her, like, pull her aside, tell her we need to talk because I would not be able to meet her during the week like I've been doing for the past eight to nine months. And that's how long this has been going on. And... I wouldn't have known about this heresy until I came to Korea. I would not have known about it in America. So I'll make a warning video uh, next time around. And also with that comes with me, I don't have anyone to study Korean with because I was also studying Korean with her. That class in like two minutes or so. So um, yeah. Um, Despite her being really attractive, and I thought I was getting the word, I ended up not, ended up finding out that that's one of the many heresies that's here in Korea. Um, so, 
that's done with. Um, I ended up telling her through text. I don't like, like this is the first person I had to really tell off through text. Like, it felt like I was breaking up with my girlfriend, but I never had a girlfriend, so how can I be? But I guess it's the fact that I'm breaking off, breaking off with someone who I kind of felt close to and somewhat developed a friendship relationship. So um, that kind of sucked. Uh, I got a feeling that I won't, that this won't be the last of me hearing from them. She says she still wants to be friends, but the words friends mean so much to different people. So sometimes they really aren't friends. They just want to be around, you know? So, hey, you're on YouTube. Say hi. Say, say hi. Say hi. How are you? I'm fine. What's your name? I'm uh, Catherine. Catherine. Catherine? Yeah. Ah, where are you from? Um, Korea. Korea? Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to to let them in. Yeah. Is it time to let the let the students in? Yeah. Oh, I wanna. I wanna make more videos. Ah. <laughs> okay. Okay. I will come there in one minute. I will I will come to the to the to, to the door one minute, okay? okay. Yeah, I will come there. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Jo but I go to okay. another group. That's fine, that's okay. fine. That's fine. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. See you. See ya. And that's our village guide, our new ones. <sighs> so um I am hurt physically, emotionally, spiritually. So this is gonna take me some time to get over with, to get get over. But um, yeah, that's pretty much what's going on with me. I'm in pain. I'm sorry, but hey, time to get time to teach these kids how to operate at the village. Otherwise, I'll see y'all later. Bye. <laughs>